Hello again. I wanted to make a very quick video this week just to help empower fellow woodworkers and wood turners to take slightly better pictures of the projects that they've been lovingly making in their workshops. Nearly every day I read a comment from somebody who's trying to show his wares through a photograph saying, I'm sorry, I'm not a very good photographer, but here's what I've produced. And, and they end up often with photographs like these. And it's through no fault of their own, they just simply don't know any better. So I'd like to show you a very simple technique that will help you turn these into these. The basis of this simple system is just two pieces of board. It could be cardboard, hardboard as I'm using here, or a bit of thin ply. And I've made a hinge just out of a bit of duct tape. I'm going to put a piece of wallpaper, simple white wallpaper, over the top, bring it down and simply clamp it in place. And what I'm trying to achieve is a little curve here. I don't want any tight corners, there's just a curve running through. I can place the piece I want to photograph somewhere just in, in front of the curve, maybe two or three inches from the back there. I might want to decorate this with just a few shavings. I keep a box of dry shavings handy, I can use them as often as I want. And then the photograph can be taken using your smartphone. There we go. Place up in front of it and take the picture. The thing here that make, makes this work is having lots of light. I work in a conservatory so I have that wonderful bonus that there's light all the way around me. But you can do this outside in your garden. Here propped up against a rockery. You can do it in your kitchen. Find a patch where there's light coming into the kitchen, not direct sunlight because that tends to cast a lot of shadows, but sometimes as you can see here from the cooker, working on top of the cooker, you can see that there are just a few little shadows and those can't be avoided. But anywhere in your house where you've got good strong light coming through a window or say outside, you just set this simple system up, two minutes to decorate and take your picture. And you should find that the background blends away, leaving your product, your piece, looking beautiful to be displayed there. Of course, it's not quite as easy if you're trying to take pictures in a dark workshop, or if we're later in the year and things are perhaps a bit darker outside, or you're working on an evening. But then, all you need is just a couple of shop lights. Either clamp lights, or in this case I'm using two angle poise lamps, these are just cheap little lamps from uh, Ikea of all places. Any light source you can get, one on the left, one on the right, so the light crosses over and you can continue again. The more light you can get in there the better. Your camera, your phone, whatever you're using, that'll, that'll handle the basics for you. There are ways of making it better but we don't want to get into fancy photography. Just lots of light, evenly spaced around your project and a simple white background and that's it. I hope this helps you, I hope it empowers you to produce better pictures. So, thanks for watching. I'd like to share with you a quick little video on stripping down, cleaning, greasing and reassembling the Tempo Tool Supernova 2. Nothing to worry about, no bits are going to get lost, it's working out.